This video is going to be how to use Twitter feed to automatically post new items as you add them to your Zazzle store. First, you need to either open an account with them or sign in with OpenID, which is what I do. I allow it to link to my Google account and sign me in through Google. I already have an account, so you can see I already have several feeds set up. You won't have all of this, but you will have a Create New Feed button somewhere on the screen. You're going to go ahead and create a new feed. You will name it the name of your shop. I'm going to add my USA Loves to Vote shop. And then your RSS feed is two different ways you can set it up. The first one on this line here has the referral code attached, this AT equals, that is my referral code. Now, you can use that. However, I've had problems that for some reason that feed doesn't always work. So sometimes it doesn't pull anything when it should be pulling things. So I tend to just add it using this code here, which does not include a referral fee. So that is if these people click that and they have a cookie in their system, that other person is going to get the sale. If they have no cookie in their system already, no, then I'm going to get the sale, but no one's getting a referral. It'll come through as non-referred. As you can see, I copied these from my edibility store. So we're, I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. and I just changed it to the correct shop ID. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test it. And it says it couldn't parse, which means I probably put a space in front of it. You might wanna check that when you paste it in there, that there's no spaces in it. And now it says it parsed okay, which means it's good. We'll now go into advanced settings and you can choose how often it's gonna post. Now, if you use quick create, the problem with adding multiple posts where it can do up to five for 30 minutes is most likely it will just throw, show three of whatever the most recent product design that you put up. So if you put up design A, design B, and design C all within the same 30 minutes, it will only show maybe a t-shirt, a mouse pad, and a mug all from design C. It won't randomly pick from whatever you put up. It will put, pick whatever the three newest are because that's the way the feed runs. Feeds are just done in numerical order by date. I leave it set to post and description and shorten link with bit.ly. You can choose another service, but personally bit.ly works the best for me. You want to uncheck include automatic thumbnails in Facebook wall posts if you intend to have it go to Facebook because for some reason when it does this, it does not pull your product image it pulls one of the product images under that little square that on Zazzle is over on this side of the screen and shows images from other people's shops that you might also be interested in. For some reason, it will be attaching that to your post. So I uncheck that. Leave it set to publish date. And then I usually add suffixes. You can add hash Zazzle because this is an election shop. I'm gonna add hash election, hash politics, hash vote. Well, hash vote won't fit because it's a maximum 20 characters. So I'm going to put it as a prefix as hash vote. It will automatically append these to every tweet that it tweets from this store. We do not need to filter by keyword, although you can if you have a theme specific Twitter that you only want to tweet products that you put blue in the title or whatever other word, then you can set it to only tweet those products. I don't have any theme specific Twitters that I'm really concerned about with this. I want this to tweet to anywhere and I want it to tweet every product that comes up. So I'm now going to continue to step two. These are the services that it can automatically feed to. I feed to Twitter. So I click Twitter and now if you don't, if this is a brand new account, obviously you don't have Twitter accounts. I have several hooked up here. You would just hit authenticate Twitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Twitter that I want it to feed to and then I'm going to click 
authenticate Twitter. I have to actually sign into the Twitter account because I haven't already and tell it to authorize. You'll be taken to this authorize page. If you're already signed into Twitter, it'll just take you to the authorize page. I leave this exactly as it is. Don't worry about changing them. As long as that says it's authenticated, then you're going to go ahead and say create service. Now it shows that it did authenticate and it is active. You can feed to multiple Twitter accounts simply by hitting Twitter again and choosing a different one. You will have to sign out of your other Twitter account and sign into each one in order to authenticate each one. I don't have it feed to multiple Twitters because it feeds the exact same time to all of them and a lot of people are followers of multiple of my Twitter accounts so they don't want to be getting the same post three or four times. I do also feed to my Facebook account. And since you probably won't have a Facebook account in here, you're just going to leave it on Facebook account and click connect to Facebook. I pick from the drop down and hit connect to Facebook. And now because I want it to post on my Shopaholic Chick page, not my personal profile, what I'm going to do down here is change this and tell it that I want it to post it to Shopaholic Chick as opposed to my personal wall. And I'm going to go ahead and create that service. Now I have two active services. It's going to treat to each of these every time I add new products to that individual store. If you have multiple stores, you, ha you will have to do this multiple times. I'm going to go ahead and hit all done. And now it shows me that that's the name of it. There's the feed. Yes, it is active. And those are the two places it's going to. And we're going to go back to the dashboard. And you would hit create a new feed again if you have another store. I'm also going to quickly go through how to add a blogger feed. If you'd like to feed your blogger to your Twitter every time you make a new post in blogger, you're going to hit create a new feed. And it works the same. That's what this third URL down here is. Blogger now uses FeedBurner. That's recent change with them. So you're just going to copy that down and put it in here. Make sure there's no space in front of it, of course. This piece here on the end would be, of course, your blog's title, your blog name. That's the same one that's in your regular URL. Test the feed. You got to give it a name. I always add blog to the end just so I can identify it versus my other um, posts. And I'm just going to tell this one to do five posts every 30 minutes. This blog does often get that many posts because this is a blog that everybody can contribute to. Again, I do not want it to include thumbnails in Facebook wall from the Facebook walls because I have no idea what picture it's going to be pulling. Um, there's no suffix or post prefix to add to this because I don't know what to add. I could add hash Zazzle because all posts will be about Zazzle. We'll go ahead and continue to step two and choose where we want it to post to. I'm going to send it to my Twitter account. Again, I will choose my Twitter account and say authenticate, authorize, and create the service. I don't want to send this to my Facebook because I already have it going there. So we're going to say all done. Go back to dashboard. And now I'm done. There's nothing more that I need to do in Twitter feed ever unless I add another store. Every time I add another store, I have to come into Twitter feed and I have to go ahead and add the feed to Twitter feed so that it knows that that store needs to be fed also. You can go in and edit feeds once you've already done them. You can hit edit and you can go in and you can change them if something changes. You can change how many it posts. If you want to change how many it posts, you can add or remove the different prefixes and suffixes. You can change where it posts to. I can stop sending it to this Twitter simply by unchecking that button and saying all done. But I don't want to do that. And that is how you 
set up feeds for Twitter.